What's good, everybody? Your boy Ty, I'm back. I know, I know, it's been so long. It's good to see everyone. I, we always, I always say that, I, I don't get to see y'all. I can't see y'all anyway. Some of y'all I see. Anyways, it's not about that. That's right, your boy's back with a video. I know with all the hype going on right now, y'all are probably wondering, yo, Ty, where have you been? You've been missing an action. We'll get into that another time. Right now, we're talking about the Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament set for the new UVS Games set. Or, yeah, the title, you, you know, the IP. You know, we already got, you know, you got the guy, the, the, Oh, you got Trigun, you got Cowboy. So we're now in Standard and everything. So this is supposed to be the introduction of the first, like Standard, the next set for Standard, the Standard format. So with all the hype, everybody's talking about all these characters. I see what's going on and I'm like, all right, we got a little something, some of the power levels like this. I'm a little, I'm, I'm still, I'm just watching. I've been in the cut. I've been watching y'all, all right? I'm seeing some of y'all talk about characters y'all think are best and everything else. Well, you know, we could say that one thing, but it might be on another thing. So, anyways, let's not get into this talk right now. You know, UVS Games, they contacted me and asked if I could join in the hype. So I said, you know what? <laughs> sure. Your boy will do it, all right? Plus, I just like entertaining some of y'all. So, anyways, let's see. So, you know, we, I've seen them. We got the Team Year Meshy stuff. We've seen the villains. You see all the other the things going on to Girl Bros. I can't wait to see what else we got. But... <sighs> Your boy got a character that uh, they must have thought of me because, you know, I used to play this character in the olden days. Not that old. I'm not that old. But anyways, I'm rambling. Anyways, let's just get into it. We're going to talk about the character that they revealed to me. And the character that they give me is none other than <laughs> your boy, Kuwabara. Kuwabara, Spirited Warrior. All right. I got that card. You know, I actually have that card. Like the, not the not this card, but the picture, okay. And they got the whole new look and stuff. All right, so, all right. Well, I used to play this. I used to body folks with the first character that they made, and he was pretty busted. They even had it around him, and he still was doing some things. But uh, well, let's just see. So we still got the five hander, thirty three health. Let's see. His symbols are earth, fire, good. I gotta I gotta remember we we switching we switching stuff here. So I'm messing with my eyes. Okay, so we got response. After your non-throw attack deals damage, build one foundation from your discard pile that show that shares two or more symbols with this character. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Non-throw, so you know, I guess that would be busted if he was just able to do damage anyway. It just says, well, if your non-throw attack deals damage build one foundation from your discard pile that shares at least two symbols with your character okay and you build it ready that's cool so every time that he deals damage he gonna keep building up yeah, that's that's cool bar but he's pretty annoying he's been annoying but annoying because he's just determined he's just like yeah, anyways sorry then we got enhance commit one foundation this attack gets minus one damage. This enhance is playable any number of times. This enhance that. Yeah, that's pretty annoying too. So that character is kind of that, that's pretty annoying. Okay, so you can you you um, get your survivability lasting longer, right? I mean, just by committing a character. So you could just start building walls and start building, 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 and then you just start minusing like ah, I'm gonna commit these two. And then this character is gonna be really strong with the idea of if you have character uh, cards that say, you know, when this card is committed due to a cost, you know, stuff like that, or well, this card is committed during the enhanced step, something like that, and they get bonuses. This character is gonna be if he does anything that minus it, if his support does stuff like that, this character is gonna be really annoying, just like how he is in the anime uh let's see enhance if you have 15 or less health your attack gets plus three damage all right now we're really gonna get annoying so yeah you bring me down to 15 health or less now all my attacks from here on out are gonna be dealing with so he's a five-hander whoo 
All right, so it's not, I mean, it's it's actually, it's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, especially it's like this thing of the desperation, like, all right, we're gonna go, we're gonna go in on it. But the, the thing that I'm looking at before I get into his stuff, it looks like we're gonna, hmm. We just need to see his stuff first because I think five hand, he's gonna have five handed problems still. You know, if his attacks aren't dealing damage, then he's really just like, blah, right? So let's see what he gets, all right? So his first attack, we get his uncommon uh, bending blade. All right, five difficulty, two mid block, five mid for six damage. <laughs> nice stats, okay. Enhance, if you have not dealt damage this turn, change the zone of this attack. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna mess with you. You keep blocking my stuff if you want. I'm gonna make sure something hits you. Uh -huh. Let's see. Enhance, this attack cannot be partially blocked. Oh, well, okay. No, okay, all right, sorry. It says it can't be partially blocked. This attack cannot be partially blocked. Okay, yeah, it has to be completely blocked to be blocked. Other than that, you gotta take it to the face. That's actually pretty good. All right, all right, that's that's not bad, that's not bad. Let's move on. Uh, Desperate Slash, four difficulty, one high uh, block, block mod, three high, three damage. If you have 10 or less health, this attack gets minus one difficulty and plus one damage. All right, so we got stats. Um, all right, so, all right, that's cool. That's all right, that's not that's not bad. Uh, that's gonna be cool, so it gets lighter, lighter, uh, the less, uh, when I'm closer to death. That's <laughs> Kurobara, Kur he's definitely. Enhanced mill three. A lot of milling in this game now. Like, it's like everything's mill, mill, mill. Like, that's like a theme somewhere. This is interesting. Mill three, this attack gets plus one speed and plus one damage for each foundation milled this way. It's pretty cool. Okay, that's actually pretty good. You mill three, three foundations. You go off there, you got a three. So it's a three high for three. Uh, if you're at, you know, 15 or less, and it's a six, so it's six, sorry, it becomes a six high for six, my bad. Six high for six, and then with the cool bar, it'll be a six high for nine. And if you're less, uh, you're 10 or less, it's a three damage, a three difficulty attack. Not bad. I think Kurobara, if he's able to like pick up stuff, that's, that's gonna be neat. All right. Dimension Sword, four difficulty, two low block, three mid for four damage. All right. Has Breaker one on it, range and weapon. All right. Um, by the way, all those other ones got weapon too. My fault. I done, done go and skip it over. To, I, I, I can't, I can't, I gotta get used to the, you know, the, where they placed that i'm so used to them being above so all right like i said enhance mill three add one weapon attack mill this way to your hand cool at least he has so he deals with the five-handed issue you'll be able to hopefully even though it's a risk it's hopefully you hit a weapon attack um if you do you get to add it to your hand awesome he needs that because if he doesn't he's gonna have that five-handed issue Enhance, choose one foundation in your stage. This attack gets plus one speed for each symbol that foundation shares with your character. Okay. This is ultra rare. Choose one foundation in your stage. Okay, so it gets plus three speed, so it'll be a six mid. But unless you have other ways to buff the damage, it's just a six mid for four if you, you know, use one of his cards. Hmm. Breaker one, okay, cool. Range weapon, uh, okay. I mean, it's good. It's good to bring stuff to your hand. I mean, yeah, but I don't, I don't it almost doesn't feel like ultra rare world. It feels like this should, I'm looking for some other, ooh, maybe there's something I haven't seen yet. So I'm trying not to like, you know, downplay anything, but it just being, yeah, I don't know. All right, it's, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. All right, so let's see. All right, so here's the common attack. Uh, four difficulty, one mid block, a spirit sword swipe, okay. Three low for four damage. Stun one, weapon. Hmm, okay. I'm noticing, I am seeing, noticing something with the way they're they're designing this, then this next set. It's looking like the commons are really like built common like like they're like what i mean by that is like they don't they're not putting as much emphasis on 
the common like you know back in the day they had a lot of like the common cards had like bigger bigger effects and stuff almost like they almost seemed like they were on the same level of their ultra rare and stuff and it seems like they're now like downsizing like they're making it to where the commons are like hey we just do a, a keyword just something you know basic and then as you get to the higher ones, the ultra rare and everything else, that's where you see more. Okay, I see they're switching up a little bit. Kind of has a vibe. Okay, all right, well, there's not much to really say about it. It's a three low for four. One stun one. All right, I mean, moving on. All right, so we go into the foundations. Let's go. We got two difficulties called double sword style, three mid block. Uh, response once per turn tenacious so that's play wall committed cool after this foundation is committed due to a cost this attack gets plus one or minus one damage there it is there goes that so you commit get it on defense this is really good it's once per turn so and then somebody keeps calling where is that coming from i don't know where it's coming from but sorry guys my bad um all right, so yeah, paying the cost, yeah. So you're gonna, pretty much you have one, two, four of these out there. For each one, it's minus two damage, minus two damage, minus two damage. Pretty good, especially if they're going for a kill uh, kill attack. Uh, flip, after you play your second attack this turn, draw one card. All right, cool, so you got another draw power too. So that's good too, so all right, not bad. After you play your second attack, all right. Not bad, not bad. Uh, excuse me, let's see. All right, kind hearted. One difficulty, two mid block. Response, after you build this card, reveal the top card of your deck. You may discard one card if you do draw one card. Hmm. Five control check. Okay, you build, get the reveal, you reveal the top. All right, so. So we get to see what our next card is. If it's an attack, we don't have to worry about checking it. We can just be like, all right, I don't need this foundation. I'm gonna discard this to pick up that attack. Also, you get to see what it is. If it's a foundation, you know you're gonna pass your next check. Um, so you're just replacing it. All right, so it's just, okay, not, not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, come on, come on, let me see. Uh, the power of love. Three difficulty, two high block, five uh, control check. Response, tenacious again. Okay, yeah, he needs to have a lot of tenacious stuff since he's gonna be committing a lot. Destroy, after your rival plays a non-character ability that cancels your enhance or response ability, cancel its effect. All right, so it's a foundation by destroying it. Cancel a cancel, so you cancel the cancel. All right, cool. Commit, seal one rival, death, evil, and void foundation. All right, not bad. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And the cool thing is you're not gonna have to build these cards. You're, if you're dealing damage, if you're able to deal the damage, you're definitely gonna be able to just be like, all right, cool, boom, 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 keep building. Uh, let's see, thinking on the fly. That's him, yeah, yeah. Two difficulty, two low block, five control check. Uh, thinking on the fly, oh, sorry, not really. Uh, let's see, response, flip. After your attack is blocked, your next attack gets plus three speed. Now that's good. I like that. Because people are going to be looking to block. They're not going to want you to build, okay? They're definitely not going to want you to build. So they're going to be blocking a lot. You got that character, Jin, where he's going to be doing that and minus in speed and everything else. You're like, all right, cool. Well, you can at least cancel out that with this card. Um, and if they're blocking it, it's okay. You're just going to make it more difficult in your next attack. So this card is going to be really important to kind of get your to get your attacks through and i think that is it my friends well there you have it that was cool Vara, spirited warrior um i i'd be curious to see how he's gonna play he seems really good especially if you're attacking and you're able to get those attacks and stuff off as long as you get those attacks i think he's gonna be really really strong uh he doesn't have a lot of speed buff so that might be it. You're definitely going to need it. And he's a five-hander. So unless he has cards that's going to allow him to draw and draw the cards a lot or be able to do constantly throw something that's going to be damaging or a problem, I don't know. He, it's one of those things like you. we got to see. We got to see what's going to happen. So 
I, I, I'm definitely going to have to challenge some people with this character. Because I, I believe in my boy. I believe he's going to do some things, okay? But anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, all right? Make sure you look out for it. It will be released February, I believe, February 24th. Anyways, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.